hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajili i am so excited to be with you all today as i share this ako shitofi recipe with you all coconut candy let's get started so to begin you can use a very matured coconut okay and you have to just grate it and go about your business now when you're done grating you can choose to spread it out to dry a bit or you can use it immediately i'm going to be using it immediately because i'm going to be making this recipe three ways the first one will be the very soft way so here i have my grated coconut and in my pan i'm just going to add one cup of sugar and i'll melt it into a beautiful caramel i check it every now and then to see where it's melted to you know the point that it has gotten to and the moment i realize that it's melting quickly i begin to stir and keep the heat on medium low because once sugar begins to melt it burns quickly and i just wanted to give a big shout out to my sweet team for giving me so many beautiful names for this snack um including kube cake coconut cake kokada dolce de coco sugar cake uh congata coconut drops bukayo thank you all so so much i just love it when i learn new things or new names for the same exact snack i really appreciate y'all you guys are the best it will you're here too <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so our caramel have melted beautifully so now it's time to begin so i'm just going to season this caramel with a bit of salt you can do it to your taste once i do that i'm going to begin adding my shredded coconut okay now with this snack the more sugar the harder it is and the more coconut the softer it is so i'm just going to be making this one the very soft way where your grandma can even enjoy it and a baby can also enjoy it so i'll make it the soft way the medium chewy way and the absolutely crunchy way all right so i'm just adding the whole coconut um, i grated one coconut so the ratio was one um coconut to one cup of um sugar so you want to add it mix add mix until you've reached your desired consistency you can also use cold water okay you can um set a bowl of cold water next to you and you can scoop some and put it in it and once it cools down you will know the exact consistency that it is at for me you know i've been doing this for a while so i didn't need to do that but i encourage you to do that if this is your first time so now that everything have mixed and incorporated beautifully we are just going to go ahead and transfer it onto our silicone mat now if you don't have one of these you can go ahead and oil your cutting board and spread it on it you want to spread it and allow it to begin cooling right now it's too hot for you to touch so you let it cool down a bit and then we're going to begin molding it and you want to mold it from the sides because the sides will be the coolest um part of this whole thing you just want to mold it into a beautiful ball just like this right here okay now if you're using your cutting board make sure you use the one you use for fruits or use a tray because if you use the one you use to cut onions and other stuff the um taste might transfer into it and there you have it the beautiful ooey gooey soft one okay <laughs> just check it out yep it is done and what i like to do is to wrap them individually in plastic so that they don't stick together when you store it so yeah you can choose to do this or not so the next one i'll be using coconut flakes okay and i'm using the sweetened one you can use the unsweetened one it's 
okay and i'm going to be using a cup of sugar as well but this time i'll be adding a bit of ginger for flavor i mean this ginger takes it to the next level so you just want to grate it and set it aside and we're going to go ahead and melt our sugar into caramel just like we did the first time you know season it with salt and then our ginger so once you've mixed everything in we're going to begin adding our coconut flakes and like i said have your water next to you and keep testing to see if you've reached the right consistency and so now i'm just going to keep adding and mixing until everything is well incorporated All right, it's nicely mixed. So we'll move it onto our silicone mat, spread it out until it begins cooling. And this time I'll show y'all how they shape it in Ghana. Okay, those people are sneaky. <laughs> so once you take it off, once you rip it off, you wanna turn it over and they make a hole in the middle so it actually looks bigger than it really is okay and then they close it and ball it up so once you rip you want to turn it over because the side that was on the mat is much flatter so the flakier side is on the top so you have to turn it over in order to get that beautiful flaky um texture all right so you just turn it around mold it and put it to um cool completely and when you open it up there is a hole in the middle so if you think you got the biggest one mm -hmm, yeah right <laughs> so this is my personal favorite so you can add the ginger if you wish but i think it takes the taste to the next level at this point i've done the whole thing and this one will be harder than the other one and i'm going to be cutting it into bars and you want to oil your board before um putting it on i don't want to cut it on my silicone mat because i don't want to ruin it always oil your knife because you don't want your um candy to stick onto it and i'm just going to cut mine into rectangular shapes you can cut them into whatever shape that you like and this will be the real hard candy type all right and we are done okay let's break it yes wapi dn wapi yes yo and you can um bag it up and give it out as gifts i mean this is cheap but somebody will appreciate it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all